out of all the crazy things I've seen from Microsoft, were for once getting something that actually makes sense, which is free to play, not requiring. Really, not requiring an Xbox Live membership. Which is something they should have had a long time ago. And that's what we're going to be talking about today's episode. So yeah. Hey what's up guys, your boy Iron Smasher 1024 here. And welcome back to another episode of Iron Talks About. Now are you an- Now first off, I'm going to ask you a question. Are you an Xbox player? And if the answer is yes, then I got some good news for you. And that is free to play, not longer requiring an Xbox Live membership. And uh, this is something that should have been done a long time ago, but after all the backlash that Microsoft did, or Xbox did mainly because of their quadrupling shit, for once they're not doing something stupid. After re reducing the price of, which was doubled originally, but now it's back to its normal price on the Xbox Live membership stuff. Xbox said on another tweet under the announcement on Twitter that they're going to be allowing games that are free to play to no longer require Xbox Live. And if you guys want to see the original article, I'll post it in the link in the description, because why not? But it's going to come out in a few months. It didn't say a date. I don't know why they're going to take long, though. I think it's going to be maybe a Sebic program, perhaps. I don't know. But honestly, this is something that PlayStation and Nintendo did, where they did not require a PlayStation Plus or Nintendo Switch Online. I don't understand why Microsoft took so damn long to do this bullshit. Because I guess they're just so petty for that part, I don't know. But the fact that they're doing this now is something. It's better, it's better late than never, in my perspective. But, um, it's good to know that they're doing, they're actually listening to people, it's good to know that they're actually not doing something stupid, because PlayStation is and Nintendo are doing something not not too stupid. Like they're 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 like there's no reason to have a membership on a free to play game. Microsoft, it took them like a fucking couple of years to realize that shit. But um, honestly, this isn't the first time Microsoft has fucked up on a few things, and this would be a big one on the list. But now that it's now that they're finally allowing free to game free to play games to not have Xbox Live required, it's it's kind of huge. It's not too huge, but it's a big it's a good start for Microsoft when it comes to at least making Xbox better. But um in my perspective, it's fine it's good because not not much people like pretty much don't want a Microsoft I mean Xbox Live. Which is understandable in that part, but um, now that this is happening, it's, it's pretty good. Which leads to a question: Would you? How? What do you guys think about this, honestly? Because I think a lot of people are going. It's going to make a huge difference for a lot of people. And uh, from my perspective, they did a good job. They 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 did something not stupid, but at the same time, should have been a feature a long time ago. But yeah, what do you guys think? Um, let, comment down in the description what you guys think of, of, uh, this decision. I personally think it's a good one. And, uh, it's good that I at least know that Microsoft is actually listening to people. And, uh, hopefully they, uh, do more stuff that's not stupid. And, uh, yeah. Until then, this is your boy, Ionis Measure 1024. I do apologize, this is a, a short episode. But I just wanted to get this one out, because I think it was something worth talking about and everything and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the next video peace